Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Trisma 4, Part 111. Stuff. So now we got a GTI Cup, which is not really golfs, but just GTIs in general. The one I wanted, which was the old school one, is not for sale, so... I'm just gonna stick with the Lupo, because it's allowed. Even though it is a cup car, but I did equip... Uh... Sport medium tires, just in case it's too OP. But we're gonna go right into it. And before there's a modern golf in here and it absolutely destroys everyone. At least it's not a championship, so I can go back and upgrade whenever I need to. Yeah, that golf is probably the prize car. Which would be unfortunate, because I would have no use for it after this event. So... What is my favorite Volkswagen? I don't really think I have one, to be honest. So don't really have to do anything to it. Let's uh, just see what our A-spec points are. Okay, 47, not bad. Also lag. Oh, that stuttering is getting real annoying real fast. What the heck, Vulcan? I thought you were good. Oh wow, this is pretty slow right now. Let me just uh, try to pass a few cars so it speeds up. There we go. Okay, I gotta get used to this thing, because I don't have racing tires on here anymore. And I'm kind of going way too fast into these corners. Look at these reflections. Very nice. Whoa! <laughs> okay, this thing is a underseer pig now. With the lack of grip. Wow, really slow-mo through here. I should probably lower my settings a tad, but I don't feel like it. This guy's pulling away pretty fast. Okay. <laughs> Just going straight through the corner. It's going pretty good, Tiran. Tiran, Tyre. I, I'm like the absolute worst at pronouncing names and just speaking in general. Okay, that was a quite the ram there. What if I use the RTX reshade? I should, now that I think about it, for the clickbait. Gran Turismo 4 Ultra High Realistic 4K 8K 60 FPS HDR 144Hz RTX on Ultra High Realism Graphics Photo Realism Simulation Simulator. 9,000. AMD, AMG, Ryzen, 69420, etc. <laughs> God, that, that physically hurt me saying all that. Wheel spin. Oh my god, this is so slow right now. Speed up. I'm about to switch to freaking software mode. I'm actually not using the uh, the high res textures right now because it's not finished. Oh, jeez. Oh boy, stay behind me. 
Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm using the G29 right now. Don't forget to increase the contrast and saturation of the thumbnail. And the sharpness to where there's like... I, f I forgot the right terminology for it. Oh, haloing around every single line. And it looks like it was drawn with like a white pen. You've seen those thumbnails, right? Like people turn up this, the, the sharpness so much it looks like every single edge in the image was like outlined with a white pen and it just looks gross but people click on it anyways YouTube is a strange place but uh even less credits in the previous two championships Jesus these winnings just do not make sense sometimes. Three laps at Sakuba. This is a. Uh, this is probably gonna be a little tough, especially if there's a golf in front, which there isn't. So I think we should be fine. Hmm. <laughs> and the wet floor. Yep. Oh my god. That's getting real old real fast. Yeah, I just come across so many channels that do nothing but post, like, high graphics gameplay of every single game there is. Entitling every single video, ultra high realistic graphics settings, even if it's like a console game where you can't change the graphics settings. Like, it makes more sense to do those for PC. Ultra mega super realistic rain. Speaking of rain, I'm sure some of y'all by now have seen the Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Hard quotes on the gameplay. Because it's kind of gameplay, but not really. Anyway, they were. They were basically boarding a ship, or no, it was an oil rig at first, and then a ship afterwards, but the water on that game looks like it was in 15 FPS. And it was so jarring and so weird looking that I could not, like, stop looking at it. I really did not think that looked good at all, but the ratings were, like some of the best I've seen for a Call of Duty like gameplay reveal trailer and I don't know why it did not look good the lighting was fine I guess but the issues I had with it were the water and the motion blur I don't know why everybody's obs like obsessed with motion blur especially in first person shooters like, if there's any surefire way to ruin all the detail that you're trying to show off about the game, it's motion blur that single-handedly ruins it all, because you can't see any of the detail after that point. And this motion blur in particular was so bad, it looked like s somebody... I'm trying to, like, put this in a way that most people will understand, because, like, the way I'm explaining it, it's kind of a very specific thing. There's this effect that people use. It's like a slow motion effect in video editing. It's called Twixter. 
And it basically warps the frames together to make things look slow motion, right? It looks like somebody put that effect on, at setting it to the wrong frame rate. So everything, like, whenever you're moving around, whether it's like moving forward or back, or turning your turning the screen left and right, everything just like warps, and it looks so ugly. And that's what it looked like. Overall, I really did not think that game looked good. It it hasn't impressed me so far. Imagine unironic unironically playing a COD game. I did, unfortunately, for a lot longer than I really should have. Yeah, like Call of Duty has been setting motion blur on by default for the past five or six years at this point. Every single time I've turned it off, everybody I know turns it off. And it never makes anything look better. Even in GT7 I want to turn it off. But there's no option to. It just kills all the detail that you're trying to see. And maybe that's why, like, sometimes I get comments on my GT7 videos saying, like, everything looks cartoony or the buildings don't look detailed. It's because of the motion blur. Because a lot of people, they'll pause the video whenever they're watching it, and because everything is blurred, everything looks bad. Instead of like an actual still frame. And that's what they want to judge how a game looks through a freaking YouTube video of all things. But yeah, enough about that. If I win Formula World Championship and don't skip the money transfer, it will take over five hours to transfer it all. Yikes. How much is the price credits for it? Whoa, that was close. Another brown stain moment. No point in going in first, because my wheels will just spin. 3 million, 3.5 million, so somewhere around there. Yeah, I think that's like the most price credits for... At one time. I'm going to have to do that championship here. Not very soon, but pretty much as soon as I'm done with the Nürburgring 24-hour, which I am going to be doing that event whenever I get 75% game completion. Don't hit me, please. Don't hit me. Okay. That was a nice overtake there. been awake for 28 hours. Nice. I can barely stay awake for 12. Haha. <laughs> it doesn't help that I am pretty much immune to caffeine at this point. Wow, you're catching up real fast. A little bit before the 50 this time. Perfect. Okay, that was really nice, I can't lie. A little slow on the exit, but... Oh. So, funny story. I almost lost the game data for this playthrough. 
because I kind of don't really keep track of my memory card files. And with all the PCSX2 1.7 updates I'm downloading and trying out, I kind of like get them mixed up sometimes. <clears throat> and I actually did lose a little bit of progress. The BMW and Mercedes races I lost because I had a game saved that I had before I did those races. I copied that memory card to a new version of PCSX2, did that stream with those races, and somehow I lost that game save, so I had to go back a little bit, but thankfully it wasn't too far back. So I really need to start, like, making more frequent, um, backups of my Let's Play save. Oh yeah, um, speaking of, PCSX2 went to a duck station UI recently. Does that mean they have auto-updates now? Because I, I haven't kept up with it, like, recently. I really need to try that, though, and probably make a video on it. But here we go, haven't been to midfield in a while. At least the golf is starting back here with me. He is absolutely going to destroy me on the straights, so though, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Make up your mind of where you want to go, cars. I, knock on wood, have not had a corrupted game save before, at least for Gran Turismo. I think I had one corrupted game save for Midnight Club 3, but I think that's it. Got a auto updates now. That's very, very handy because downloading a new 1.7 dev version and doing all my settings all over again was getting pretty old. So I'm definitely going to have to try that out. One problem though is recently they uh, they kind of messed up the deinterlacing. Because at first you use Bob TFF to get like a good picture on this game without like the screen shaking like crazy. And then recently they changed it. I don't remember exactly what it would do, but I could not get it to look good no matter what. So I had to go back a couple versions. I'm on 2650 right now. And this is like... This has pretty good settings. Whoa, okay, Underseer. This has pretty good settings, the deinterlacing isn't screwed up, and it also has the texture replacements. So whenever the... Whenever the uh, texture mod for this game is completely done, then I'll start running it. Money shift. Oh, going a little wide again, but not too bad. Yeah, I've been needing to... I used that one in the past, but I don't know why I took it off. Unless it was for GT4 Online, which it probably is. Q. 
can I mod in a, uh, I have no idea how to say that word. I mean, I've made one, uh, texture replacement so far. I did a Denzo livery on a Minolta. Kind of weird, but yeah. Final race at Deep Forest. Yeah, I'll have to... I'll probably look that up later. <clears throat> I kind of want to... Just don't research it. I'll regret it. Oh. Are you trying to prank me, bro? I wanted to do the, the 98 TSO 20 livery, but that just seems like way too much work with how the, uh, the texture dumping works. It's just like the weirdest shit whenever I did it. It's hard to explain. Okay, don't shove me into the brick wall. It's artistic. Hmm, it sounds sus. And I think the troll face PFP is kind of a little telling. Trying to troll me, bro. And I'm surprised they caught up to the golf this fast already. If only this was a one lap race. Okay, somehow he still gets around me. Okay, way too much speed. That's bad. That is all my momentum gone. Anti-good. But we're gonna roll with it, because I was about this far back on lap one. But uh, I think I need to go try hard cam. Oh wow, that actually kind of killed my handling a little bit whenever I touched that curb. This game doesn't really like trail breaking as much as GT7, so that's not really going to help me. It kind of just ignores it. Don't want to dive bomb too far ahead. And there we have it, decent comeback. You shall not pass. Gas. So there we go. Volkswagen has now been conquered. 2,000 credits. And price car. Please be that old school golf. Yes. Different color would have been nice, but I shall take it. Too bad I can't use it. Rip. So let's take a gander.
Nice. Barely worth anything to sell, even though I don't want to sell it. So with that, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 4. Next one is uh, it's quite the infamous race. <laughs>